everyone, it is Alfred Boris, welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. And today I'm starting off a brand new series onto the channel for Boom Beach. And it is called Learn to Play Like a Top Player or something like that. Not really sure what the name is going to be. But the way this series is going to be going is I'm going to be attacking five bases. Trying to take down five bases for every single base. I will get one attempt to take it down. If I don't make it, I will just move on to the next base. And the way this one works is I will go to the top players. Uh, and I'll search through them to find an attack strategy they're using. So for instance, if we take Predator, for instance, then over here we're looking what attack strategies he's using. Well, in this particular case, he's using RZM. So for that episode, we will be using RZM. Uh, another instance, for example, uh, over here, Kinetic. He's using a different attack strategy, I think. Uh, so over here, we got uh, one landing craft of Rifleman, four landing crafts of Grenadiers, one tank, and then two medics. So I'll be copying these attack strategies to see what makes them successful and if I can master them. If I take down four bases out of five, I say I sort of mastered it. If I take out five, then I'll say I mastered it. If I take out less than four, then I'll say I need to learn a little bit better. And maybe I'll do so in a little rebound episode series after that. So... Yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting. I'm, I'm very stoked for this. Uh, the way I'm going to be doing this is for every single episode, I got one thing that I'm able to boost up. And it's probably going to be Gumboat Energy. But I'm not sure we're going to figure that one out as we progress. So without any further ado, let's head over to the global ranking. I'm going to take uh, rank number one. He's currently rank number one for eight hours. So I think he just reached that. And look at the difference already. 80, um, I mean, 39 victory points. As you can see, he made a nice little P over here. I have a better troop damage than he does. That is pretty awesome. And this guy is using... Uh, oh, regular hookah attack strategy. That is very interesting. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the focus is on regular hookah, but it should be pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and build up the attack strategy. And for this one, I might actually want to go with... Um, I might want to go with troop health for the, or troop damage because we have Zookas. I am not really sure though. So I got that additional Zuka over here because I did end up land, uh, upgrading a landing craft. I'm for sure going to be upgrade, uh, boosting up a resource ward because I want to get something started. But um, I think for this one, I want to go... Let's just go for Gumboat Energy. Let's go for Gumboat Energy. All right. So we have the ability to take down five bases. Of course, Dr. T will not be included on that one. That will be an episode on its own today. Uh, for this one, how about we go for a level 63 over here? Let's scout this guy, DE, with a bunch of signs over here. So what he has is, a, oh wow, a shock launcher level 10. I haven't seen one of those yet. That is kind of interesting. And he, of course, also has a shock blast. This guy is kind of boosted up. I mean, he has quite a bit of statues here. He has five defensive statues. That should be pretty interesting. So the way, uh, I think... The hookah attack strategy, this variation, is not smoky. So I will try the regular attack strategy for hookah. If I'm wrong with this one, please correct me in the comments. But I think it's the regular hookah attack strategy. So, um, one rocket launch is an upgrading. That's actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and attack. Let's go ahead and attack and uh, see what we can take down. We got that gunboat that we can do stuff with. I think I should maybe focus... On uh, a boom cannon. Or just another rocket launcher. You know what? I'll go for one rocket launcher here. And then one boom cannon in the middle. Maybe behind it. I'm not sure. Ooh, this is quite tough. Let's focus on this one first. Uh, one artillery after this. And then another one to finish it off. And then for this one, there is a boom mine here. So I kind of want to go for that one. So taking that one out with gunboat energy, of course. And then we need two artilleries to take it out. And I think I got room for one more. But I suppose maybe I'll just take care of uh, of the shock blaster if I can. I hope I have enough gunboat energy for that. One artillery, I think that's going to be able to do the trick here. And yes, we took it out. So we have 12 gunboat energy to play around with. We should be good to go, honestly. There's no rocket launcher that's going to be in the way. So I'm not really concerned too much. So let's see what we can do here. So going onto that cannon. The cannon is uh, going to be doing quite a bit of damage onto our uh, heavies. Almost two of them already die. We should be able to get quite a bit of gunboat energy over here though. So that's pretty nice. Not even too bad. Um, 
think. I'm not sure if we should really just target everything here. Everything seems to be a little bit separated though. Everything seems to be a little bit separated though. When I look at it, it should be relatively easy to take out the base. Let's go for the cannon. And then I think I'll just move my way up to the left here. Yeah, let's just move to the left here. Let's recollect ourselves. And let's drop... Um, let's target over here on the left side. Let's just go to the left side right here. And um, I'm going to be dropping one... Two med kits, and hopefully we will be able to heal up at least a little bit here. So I haven't been using the regular hookah attack strategy in forever. I see a weak spot here, you can shock everything together. I'm definitely going to be utilizing that again. So I think I'll drop another shock bomb the moment this one is going to be running out. Or maybe even here, getting all of the... Uh, Getting off the boom cannon. Oh, I didn't even manage to hit that final boom cannon over there. However, though, the shock launcher goes down. The rocket launcher goes down. Actually, it's, it's a rocket launcher. And we still have quite a few heavies left over here. I should be a little bit careful, I guess. I'll drop the shock bomb right there onto the boom cannon. And this is going to be pretty clutch. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make this. That is the big question. Am I going to be able to make it? Let's go ahead and take care of the shock launcher right now. And I'm dropping some critters in the front. I only have... I only have Zookas left. I only have Zookas left to protect me. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough, guys. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. This guy was very much boosted up. Uh, I just want your opinions as well, of course. If I'm using an attack strategy in a really terrible way. Uh, I would love to hear your feedback on it. Because... You know, some of these attack strategies I'm better with than others. And I know for a fact that regular hook attack strategy, I haven't used that one in, in forever, honestly. I really haven't used this one in forever. So this first attack seems to be a failure. So I'm not going to waste too much of your time. I'll meet you guys back again once we head over to the next. Oh, actually, we're already dead. Okay, we're already dead. So first attack is a failure. This guy was kind of boosted up and I was, be using, a, uh, I was using an attack strategy I haven't used in a long time. I honestly don't really know for sure what to focus on with this attack strategy. Is it is it going to be the rocket launchers? Is it going to be the boom cannons? I'm honestly not sure. So we found ourselves in another base over here. This guy has a lot of gold. Once again, some defensive statues, but they're not boosted up. I suppose this one might be a little bit easier, but harder at the same time because he has a doom cannon this time. So I suppose for this one to experiment a little bit... I think I will be going for anything that multi-target hits, like a rocket launcher, a shock blast. I think I want to be taking those out. And it seems to me that I'll be able to take care of these two relatively easily. And uh, lucky for me, this boom cannon is alongside with this rocket launcher. That makes uh, my life a whole bunch easier. Let's go ahead and take, take care of this base, see how it's going to be going. So dropping three barrages right here. This rocket launcher is level 14, by the way. That one's level 14. We don't take care of the first one. Let's drop a barrage here. Taking one artillery here. There it goes. Uh, one over here. And I suppose I'll just take care of this boom cannon as well while I'm at it. And the cool thing is I'm able to shock all of this together at the same time. So I'm definitely going to be utilizing that. So how about we just go ahead and get into this. Now there's a whole bunch of mines here. So I'll just drop a shock bomb and some critters because uh, these boom cannons are going to be distracted anyway. There it goes down. The first pack goes down. Dropping a shock bomb. There we go. We did not manage to get the second boom cannon, but that's okay. I suppose I do want to be going for... Um, I, I suppose I want to be going for the rocket launchers here. Simply because I'm able to drop critters then. And the critters won't end up dying immediately. So I think uh, this is the viable attack strategy to be using. This guy is going to be going down guaranteed. Because look at this. The, his, his position is right now terrible. We still got uh, loads of heavies left to protect us here. So I, I think this is going to be a clear takedown. Left side is a little bit exposed here. Kind of dangerous. I'm going to be dropping a smoke here and there. At the left side just to make sure that we're going to be making it and not lose too many Zookas here. There we go. Base goes down. Level 61. Got taken down. We lost uh, pretty much every single heavy with the exception of four of them. And we still have pretty much every single Zooka with the exception of like four. So taking home the prototype. And that is one out of one. Uh, that is one taken down out of two. So, so far so good with this base. Next up is Momo. Level 61 base. With 828 victory points. He has all three rocket launchers active. But he has no he has no 
defensive statue, so I suppose I could just go ahead and take care of the rocket launchers and also take care of the shock blaster over there. And the way I want to attack this one is I think I want to go to the left because then I'm able to shock the doom cannons, the cannon and the boom cannon at the same time. Yeah, let's just go that side. I think that's going to be the right way of attacking Momo. So first off, let's go ahead and take care of the shock blaster. And then these two rocket launches near each other. Essentially, I could maybe even skip out on the front one over there. I don't want to do it. I don't want to risk it. So instead, I'm not doing it. Two artilleries to take care of this shock blaster. One wasn't enough. And one barrage over here. And I'm thinking that maybe I do want to take care of that shock launcher. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's take care of this shock launcher right here. So two artillery should be enough. Bam, it goes down. And then we're pretty much good to go. So we're going to be going the left side over here. And I am going to be dropping a flare right there. Because I'm, I'm kind of afraid of the mine over there. Even though we all will only lose one Zuka maybe. I simply, you know, one Zuka might be the difference between winning and losing. You never know how this is going to be going. I will drop two packs of critters at each side because that way the shock launch is going to be targeting that. And then another one over here in the center. So that way we got the heavies to back it up and just dropping a shotgun right there. Getting the mortar and the machine gun. And at the same time getting all of those uh, pretty dangerous buildings uh, against those heavies. Everything that does a lot of damage against those heavies as well. Now, right now, getting that the Doom Cannon right now. Doom Cannon taken out. Gonna be dropping a shotgun right here in the top. And that's pretty much gonna be it. This is a really easy base because this guy is obviously not boosted up. Now, these attack strategies are gonna be harder later on. Uh, whenever everybody is going to be boosted up. 800 victory points is still, I feel, kind of a, a stage in the game. Where it's relatively easy if you're entirely maxed out to take out bases. But it's still a lot of fun to actually do so. If that makes any sense what I'm saying here. I, I very much enjoy taking down bases relatively easily. It's just giving me this kind of feel of super, superiority. Is that the right word? Like feeling more superior than the opponent, I guess. I don't know. But then again, some people feel it as, as, to me as well because I get my home base raided all the time. I get my home base raided all the time. I noticed that back when I was a little bit uh, like around 800 victory points, people were able to take me down still but have some sort of struggle. But right now, uh, over 300, uh, over 800 people take me down very consistently. And I barely ever get a, a home base defended. If I do get a home base defended, then uh, it is probably because someone played very, very bad. Okay, let's head, all, uh, let's head on to the uh, fourth base of today. And that is this guy. And once again, no uh, ice statues. That is kind of funny. I actually kind of like that. Makes my life a little bit easier. I think there's going to be another win here. So I think the key to this attack strategy... If I'm so free to say this right now already, is to take care of the shock blasters, take care of the rocket launchers. Because otherwise the Zookas might be in trouble. If, if there's a rocket launcher easily accessible, you may want to be focusing on that. But I, I would say otherwise, just go, for, uh, just go for rocket launchers. And you can always shock the boom cannons. Because usually there's a boom cannon next to another cannon, next to a doom cannon or a shock launcher. And that's going to be... Uh, that's going to be causing issues for the uh, for the defenses at least. That's what I feel. All right, so let's do this. So right now, I don't think I need to worry about everything too much. However, though, I am going to be dropping some critters and a shock uh, shock bomb over there because otherwise, uh, I'll, I'll just be able to take them down. I'll just be able to take them down. I know my commentary doesn't make a whole lot of sense today. And that's because I literally just woke up. <laughs> I just realized. My commentary seems kind of off. It, it's kind of... I feel it's kind of lacking today. But that's alright. I'm still having a blast here though. I, I really like this idea of a new series. I just woke up. And I was like, let's just launch this new series. That might be kind of fun. I will also be able to record this uh, this series in advance. Because uh, I, I don't know if you guys know about this. But I, I, will, uh, I will be going back to Helsinki 
a uh, little bit later this week so i'll be able to provide you with episodes of this series and make this in some sort of a mini series doing five bases makes make sure that i don't clean up uh, my entire map but that i'm still having bases for each episode so I, I thought it was a good idea to do in the, in the time i was away to keep you guys entertained and still to provide you guys with some quality content now for this base actually quite interesting i should have probably gone for the uh for the uh, shield generator there i didn't do that i think that was maybe a mistake we will still take down this base regardless. <laughs> we lost every single heavy, but we got the firepower of the Zookas. Uh, the, the heavy Zook attack strategy, I really kind of underestimated this attack. I do kind of feel that this might be a pretty expensive attack strategy. So, so far, took down uh, three bases out of the four. Gonna be going for the final base. Alright, let's go to Basushi. And I think maybe at the end, I want to be going back to that first base to try to take that one actually add out with this attack strategy to see how that's going to be turning out. Okay, this is very interesting. We got a damage amplifier over here. Damage amplifier level 3. And for this one, he actually has a, a boom cannon uh, and some regular cannons in there. This might be a little bit tough. This might be a little bit tough. Not too happy to see this though. All right. Still going to be applying the same principles, distract and destroy. That's how it's going to be going. So going for those rocket launches, obviously. Because that's been working for me so far. Then also taking care of that cannon, because that is a part of that damage amplifier over there. I'm a little bit afraid of that boom cannon there. I feel it's going to hurt quite a bit if I don't take it out. So I'll just... Do myself a favor here and take it out. And then maybe this cannon as well. Because I could... Well, whatever. I, I, will, just, I will just take care of that. Okay. Now, I'm not, not so afraid of that Doom Cannon. Because I can just throw some critters at there. Because that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Just throw some critters at there. Not worry about that too much. And how about we just go ahead drop one critter bolt at the left. And then two at the right side. Oh, we can only drop one. That's okay. Drop a shock bomb right there on that on that boom cannon and the shock launcher. And there it goes down. That is the doom cannon. Dropping critters uh, in the center at the uh, damage amplifier. Because then hopefully the shock launcher is going to be focusing on that. Took down the damage amplifier. Right now we got free play honestly. Because we got that wall of heavies in the front. And then we got the zookas in the back there. I think there's going to be a takedown, guys. I think there's going to be a takedown. We didn't manage to shock both of them together. I kind of need to work on that. But I don't think... Yeah, I could have been able to do that. Shock the both of them together. Alright, let's keep these heavy sealed up. Because I think sniper towers will definitely hurt my Zookas. So I want to make sure that my heavies end up surviving. And that's going to be the fifth base. That uh, That's going to be the fourth base that we take down out of the five. And that really makes me think I should go back to the first base that we tried to take down the, but, but that we didn't succeed on to see if this attack strategy that I, the way I've been using it actually does work. And I don't know if you guys noticed but we got ourselves a, a live crystal here. That is really awesome. Okay, so let's head back over to that one base and see if we can take it down knowing what we're knowing. So the base we, tr we tried to take down was the base of D or Day. And this time gonna be going for the rocket launchers last time i didn't do that and there are some weaker defenses at the back there so i kind of have a good feeling about this i think i might be able to to pull this one off but we'll have to see about that also i think i can ignore most of the defense i'm not sure i'm, not, I'm honestly not sure uh two barrages there taking care of that shock blaster one artillery here we need one more artillery here and then one more artillery there. That leaves us with uh, 18 gunbone energy. Can we do that? Yes, we can pick up some free gunbone energy over here. There's no problem. I think I should be able to pull this one off, honestly. The only concern would be the shock launcher. That is going to be my only concern. But I think I can do this, guys. I think I can do this. I have good faith about this. So dropping a shock bomb onto the boom cannon and the regular cannon and the mortar because I'm afraid they might end up hitting my Zookas. So because I don't want that to happen, I will just drop uh, some units on that and take care of that. Crit is actually doing the work this time around a little bit better. How about we move to the left here? 
Oh, that actually might be a bad move. That might actually be a bad move. Let's just drop a shock bomb there. All right, drop in some critters because that boom cannon is going to be hurting my heavies. And uh, another box of critters at the in front of the heavies there. Dropping a shock bomb on the shock launcher. Let's see what they're going to be doing. Oh, our Zookas are kind of hurt here by the mine. We got to be careful. We got to be very, very careful here. Okay, what is our condition? We got 13 heavies left. We're going to be dropping a shop on here in the center. We managed to get quite a bit of buildings. This looks pretty good. This honestly looks pretty good. This looks like this might be a takedown. I think... I am not sure, honestly, though. I am not sure. Uh, let's just... Uh, I don't want to drop critters. I don't want to drop critters because they... Let's just drop a shock bomb there. We only have two heavies left. There's one cannon there. Can we heal up the cat? No, we cannot heal it up. Oh, no. We're in the exact same situation where, which we were before. We are in the exact same situation. But this, this time around, we are a little bit closer, though. We will have enough gunboat energy to throw a mad kit. And that mad kit is going to be essential for the takedown. So if we can do this, if we can do this, it's going to be insane. And now, this is the moment of truth. No, we're focusing on the wrong building. No, that's going to be it. We are not going to be in the ability to take this one out. That is really unfortunate. So um, the heavy Zook attack strategy wasn't powerful enough, at least not from my perspective, to take out this base. So that leaves me... With 4 out of 5 bases. I tried my best guys. Give me some pointers. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Feedback is always appreciated. And then in the future I'm going to be readdressing this. And trying this one out again on a higher stage. So that being said that's going to be doing it for the very first episode. As learning playing Boom Beach like a pro. Uh, as always make sure that if you guys like this video too. Boom, give the thumbs up. And next episode we're going to be trying one of the other attack strategies. Until then this has been Reversal for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.